The new phase in AI animation is here. A new tool called AI Tune Crafter has just been released and it is absolutely mind blowing. As this tool evolves, it's going to completely change the animation industry. And we could finally reach an era where there's no excuse for low quality animations. And the best part is you can run this on your own computer. Kind of. The VRAM requirements are currently about 26 gigs, which puts it just out of reach of a 3090 or a 4090. However, I've got a solution for you, which will allow you to run it on any machine. So let's go and check it out. So I stumbled across this today on the Stable Diffusion Reddit, which I recommend that you guys go and check out. And people were just raving about it, posting some examples. And there's even a thread taking requests for Tune Crafters. We're gonna try some of them because I haven't seen this person post any of the results. And then I'll show you guys how you can run it locally or on RunPod. So the way the tool works is it actually uses interpolation, but it does it at a level that we've not seen before from AI tools. So it takes a starting frame and an ending frame and it will create the frames in between. So after you've installed the app, it's got a couple of examples here that you can try out. So we're gonna run the examples so you can get an idea of what it does. Now I'm running it on an A40, which has about 48 gigs of VRAM and the average time it takes to generate uh, a little animation is about 40 seconds, which is a perfect time to have some coffee. And there we have it. We can see how clearly the animation has come out. Now to give you an idea as to how impressive that is, here are some examples from other AI interpolation tools. And you can see how drastically the difference is, how coherent the interpolation is and the animation between frames. So how do we use this? How do we install it? How do we take advantage of it? Let's go and look at that now. So to show you how powerful this is, I didn't just use the examples provided. I actually went and generated my own AI image using one of my favorite tools, Scenario, where I just simply took a female character, I redrew her eyes so that she was blinking, I fed those in and this, this was the result. Simple, but effective. They don't have a comfy UI node for this yet, but I've heard that one is coming. So as soon as that's out, we'll do a tutorial on that as well. I'm really excited. This could bring a whole new level of animation to the industry. So I'm going to show you how to install it on RunPod. Now, everything that we're doing here, you can do it in your console on Windows or on Linux or Mac, and it should work exactly the same. I'll give you instructions as we go along. And if you don't have a RunPod account, please use my affiliate link down below. It gives me a few extra credits on RunPod whenever you use it, which helps me continue to create content and come up with experiments for you guys. So once you're here in RunPod, head on over to deploy, and you're gonna wanna grab a GPU that's got at least 48 gigs of VRAM. So the cheapest one available that I can see is the A40 at 69 cents an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that one. Now the best template that you, now the template that you wanna be using for this that has worked well for me is PyTorch 2.20. So let's go ahead and run that. And the nice thing about this is the installation is pretty quick. I will be coming out with a template that will take you straight into this so you don't have to do all of this in the future, but it might take me a few days to come out with it. And of course, uh, it'll be shipped uh, 48 hours first to my Patreon. So go and check that out if you want this template out right away. So once we've got our pod up and running, let's head on in and connect. And it'll give us a Jupyter Lab by default. Once we're in here, we're presented with an empty workspace. So go ahead and open up your terminal. And the first thing that we're going to do is grab the Tune Crafter Git and grab their Git HTTP. Come back over to your lab and we're going to clone the URL. Oops, sorry, Git clone. And that will set up Tune Crafter for you. Now we're gonna do a couple of things a little bit different from what they recommend. So please stay tuned. So once you've got Tune Crafter downloaded onto your computer or your Jupyter Lab, you'll have a folder called Tune Crafter. Go ahead and CD into that. So CD Tune Crafter. And just run an LS or DIR to make sure that you've got all of the same files. Now, if we look at the instructions, they say that you should create and activate a Conda environment. If you're doing this on your Linux, Windows, or Mac machine, I do recommend that you go ahead with this. However, if you're doing it on RunPod, you can skip that step as it's an isolated pod. It, everything that you set up and install in this is just for this instance. So we can go ahead and just grab the pip install requirements. 
to go ahead and do that. Now you might get some errors come up. I've been able to ignore them and run this without a problem. So while it's doing that, let's go ahead and grab the required model. So coming back to the Git, the model is specified over here and I'll put a link again in the description down below just to make it easy for everyone. So go over to the hind face and you'll be presented with this page where it says here, but you can still download it. Just right click that, copy the link, come back to your Jupyter lab and just wait for it to finish. While we wait for that to finish installing, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you guys about our Discord channel. Please come by, especially if you guys are installing this and you're testing out some animations. We love to see the work that everyone is creating. So please come over and share your results. I also wanted to tell you a little bit about my Patreon. It's a fantastic place for you to come and support the channel. We post all kinds of things there, including early releases of our videos, exclusive workflows, and a whole bunch of other things just for our patrons. Your support makes it possible for me to continue making this content and I appreciate every single one of you guys. Okay, there we go, it's done. So this is what I was talking about earlier. You might get this error where it has a dependency conflict. I was able to ignore that and go without a problem because this is supposed to be a PyTorch 220 environment, which we see here, right? PyTorch 220. So I'm not really sure why it thinks that we're only running Torch 2. Like I said, I was able to ignore that and make everything work. Okay, so now that we've got Toon Crafter installed, the next step is we need to download that model that we copied earlier. So let's CD into Toon Crafter. Oops, don't CD into Toon Crafter because we're already in there. But you do need to create a checkpoint directory. So we're going to go ahead and type in make deer checkpoints cd into checkpoints and then we need to create the directory tunecrafter underscore 512 underscore interp underscore v1 again i've posted it in the description below just copy paste it once you've done that cd into that and then finally wget and post the you and post the url that we got from hugging face and that will go ahead and download the model. Again, this might take a minute, so time for more copy. Great, and once you've got that, on your side panel, go into the Tune Crafter folder and look for the file called gradioapp.py. Go ahead and double click that and scroll all the way down to the bottom, the last line, where it says dynamic crafter underscore iface dot launch. We're gonna add a couple of things there. You wanna add in share equals true comma, uh, make sure you make it a capital, otherwise it won't get picked up. And then off bracket, bracket, two colons, two comma, two colons, bracket. And what you're going to do is in each of the columns, e in each of the commas, you're going to put a username and password. I usually like to put just user and then put something a little more secure than this, please. Make sure you put a comma at the end. Save it. Hey, you're ready to rock and roll. And once it's installed, go ahead and CD or CD dot dot back to your Tune Crafter base folder. Once you're in here and you made the necessary changes to the GRadio app file, go ahead and type in Python GRadio underscore app dot pi. And that's it. That's all you have to do. The app will initialize and you'll get two URLs. One is your local one, which is going to be a 127.0.0 dot one with the required port and another one will be a public url that you can use because you're running on runpod that's the url that you want and don't worry if it looks like it's hanging here that's normal it takes it a minute to warm up and there we go as you can see here we've got our local url and our public one go ahead and click the public one if you're running on runpod go ahead and click the public one if you're if you have a gpu that's beefy enough to handle this locally go ahead and click the local one type in your username and password that you set. I ended up changing it. And there we go. We have it. You've got it installed. Now let's try a couple of those images out from the request thread. Just be careful when dragging it in that the little red highlighter is there. Otherwise that will happen. It's a bit annoying. Snake singing. Cartoon snake singing. Run it. And like I said, after about 40 seconds, we'll get an animation. 
Now, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I specifically tested it on an AI image because all of these examples are from cartoons where these keyframes were designed to be interpolated or have someone draw the frames in between. So I would imagine that they perform quite well because they're designed with that in mind. So let's check it out. And wouldn't you know it, I test the tool off camera and it works fine with the examples I give and then examples I choose for camera and recording are the ones that don't work. Let's try this again. Okay, let's remove cartoon. Let's leave it as snake singing and see what we get. I swear, the curse of Murphy's Law is strong within me. Boop. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, okay, fine. That one was not working that well. Let's try another one. Let's try this one. It seems to like anime images. All right, attempt number two. And this time we'll go for a more vague prompt, similar to what they've got here. In the examples, an anime scene. Let's also give it a bit of a different seed. And let's see what we get. Okay, that one was a lot better. None of the weird fuzzy and whatchamacallit happening. I mean, it's a little awkward because it is trying to get from here to here. But the animation is smooth. There's no weird stuff happening except for the eye winking part. Let's do one more. I don't know what I'm doing. Just random ninja hand motion. There we go. Pretty smooth. Like I said, I'll be testing this out a lot more in the coming days. So I'll be posting my results in the Discord and my Instagram. So follow me and come and check us out on Discord. Post your results on Discord. I'd love to see what you can do with this. I've also got a couple of other videos popping up around here that you should absolutely check out from. And thanks. I'll catch you guys in the next one.